ओम ज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानांजनम शराकया चक्षुर्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मुखम कृतिवाचाल पंगु लंगयते गिर यम वंदे श्रीगुर दिनतारण परमाधमाधम नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादि पाश्चात देशतारणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू सो दिस हिस्ट्री ऑफ ध्रुव महाराज इज इज फ्रॉम द श्रीमद भागवतम एंड द श्लोक वी रिसाइटेड was from the fourth canto eighth chapter verse number 40 shrimad <clears throat> in shrimad bhagavatam there is a history of king uttanapad king uttanapad he had two wives one was suruchi and other was suniti he first married suniti but suruchi was the other wife suruchi was very beautiful so so he completely abandoned his first wife so much so that she was staying much much away from from the palace she was given a small house to stay and she was staying there <coughs> but <coughs> king uttanpad had a son from her her as well and the son was dhruva from suruchi he had a son called, called as uttama and because uttama used to always uh, because uttama used to always stay in the palace of the king there was always facility for him to have an access to the father king uttanapad dhruva maharaj once <coughs> he also came in the palace and he, he when he saw uttama sitting on the lap of his father he also desired that i should also go and sit on the lap of his father it is very natural if you see in our house also if, if there are two kids if a person has two kids and if a one if one one of the kids comes and sit on the lap of father the other kids want the same thing so they will also try to come and sit on the lap of the father okay? or if you, if the father picks up one child then she, the other child will demand please pick please, please 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 pick me up also okay? i have personal experience i have two kids <laughs> so, <coughs> so maharaj uttanpad he 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 was trying to jump, come on the lap of his father but somehow he was not able to do so hmm. maharaj uttanpad should have helped him to pick because it was his son hmm. so he could have helped dhruva to come and sit on the lap also but he didn't help the reason was because uttam's mother suruchi was was nearby so suruchi seeing dhruva's attempt to sit on the father's lap she got very offended and she she caught up dhruva's hand and she threw him threw him away and she said you are not qualified to sit on the lap of Ut- king king uttanpad hmm? dhruva said why she said <coughs> that she said that although you are also born from king uttanpad hmm? but because you have not taken birth from my womb it is not you are not qualified for to sit on this yas in on this asana with on on the throne so and he said what should i do now if i am not born from you what should i do now you have to now pray to supreme personality of godhead go go to forest and perform devotional service attain the supreme lord and then pray to him attain the supreme lord narayan and then pray to him to give him birth from my womb hmm. i mean she was just she was just she didn't wanted to that dhruva should in the future she, he should become the king you know in other words she was just saying dhruva that get lost hmm. this is the this was the other way of saying get lost is go and attend the supreme lord hmm. and when you get his darshan then you t- tell him that give me give me birth from womb, from suruchi's womb and in this way <coughs> he was he uh, suruchi she disregarded uh, <coughs> dhruva 
एंड ध्रुव ही वॉज अ क्षत्रिय एंड क्षत्रिय जनरली दे आर लिटल बिट ऑलवेज एंग्री दे आर इन मोड ऑफ पैशन सो ध्रुव ऑल द चाइल्ड बट ही बिकेम वेरी वेरी अपसेट एंड देन एंग्री इन एंग्री मूड ही स्टार्टेड गोइंग टू इट्स मदरस हाउस सोनीति हाउस वेर इज सोनीति प्लेस वॉज and she she he went and he started crying so intensely so intensely that he, that her his mother picked picked dhruva on his, and put it on his lap on her lap and she said what happened and dhruva told everything and then she also tried to know what exactly happened from her maid servants and situation was that she knew that the king doesn't even consider her as a wife Hmm? Not even a maid servant also, because the maid servants also were fortunate to stay in the palace, hmm? and they could see the king. But her position was that she was so unfortunate that even she was not having access to the palace also. Hmm? So she she told Druva, "Yes, this is your bad fortune that you have taken birth from my womb, hmm? and also from my from my breast only I fed you milk, and you have grown from that milk only." So yes, this is your unfortunate, a misfortune. But <clears throat> try to understand what is your stepmother trying to say. Hmm? Whoever is saying something, but try to understand what has been said. It is important. Who is saying is not important. What has been said is important. She gave a proper instructions to you, Durga. Go and perform devotional service unto Lotus Feet of Lord Krishna. I want you should do that. Hmm? Generally, in, in uh, generally, what happens that a mother will say, "Come on, let's go to the court. Hmm? Let's take your father to court, or let's take the whole family to the court." But Dhruva, Dhruva's mother didn't do that. She just said, "Follow the instructions of your stepmother." What has she said to you? Go and attend the Supreme Lord. So I want you, I bless you. Go and attend the Supreme Lord. Hmm? Where is the Supreme Lord, Narayana? Hmm? Where does he stay? He stays in the forest. Hmm? There are so many sages who perform devotional service in forest. So you go there and you will find them. Hmm? Inquire from them. So Dhruva, using his intelligence and then having the uh, uh, mercy of 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 his mother, Dhruva then started walking on the path of forest. Hmm? This was not easy. Dhruva was only five or six years old. Hmm? it is not easy for even for his mother to to allow her only son to go to the forest but she knew that druva because druva in her <coughs> in his in his in his cry when he was crying he said that i want not only this position but i want the position of brahma ji more than brahma ji hmm? then then druva's mother started saying yes hmm? even lord brahma who is your great grandfather also got this position of uh, and also got the power to create by the mercy of narayana even your grandfather manu maharaj also got the strength to rule the whole world by the mercy of narada uh, by the mercy of the supreme lord and now you uh, you see your uttan your father uttan pad also is on is on that throne because of his worshiping the supreme lord hmm? so if you want the position which is higher than your father's position than your grandfather's position than your great grandfather's position then you should hmm, go and attend the supreme lord hmm. so druva got convinced and he went so now whenever hmm, a, li- a living entity whenever a human being he he wants to know about god that is athato brahma jigyasa hmm, so supreme lord is residing in our heart and he is always watching the activities of a living entity he always notes everything we can't we can cheat everybody but we can't cheat him hmm? similarly uh, whenever <coughs> a living entity he or especially human beings when they develop a desire what kind of desire to know about the supreme to attain the supreme at that time the supreme lord who is residing in the heart takes a note of it and then he sends devotees hmm? so narad muni he came there and he said dhruva 
and immediately saw Naraji and he said, Oh, Narada, Naraji, my good fortune that I have, I am seeing you. He immediately offered his dandavats to Naraji. Hmm? Naraji was very, very famous. He, was, he travels throughout the world and he preaches God consciousness everywhere. And Narada said, So I heard that you are, you are going to the forest for attaining the Supreme Lord. And Dhruva said, Yes. Hmm. And Narada said, Don't you think this is, this is a time for you to get involved in sports? Hmm. And Dhruva said, No, I am not interested. Then Narada asked, Okay, so that means you're only upset because your father didn't allow you to sit on the throne on his lap, right? Oh, that's that's okay, but I don't want any more, I don't I'm not interested anymore to sit on his father, my father's lap. Hmm? I want to be in a position where even Brahmaji has no access. Narada started laughing and Narada started saying to himself, Wow, look at the spirit of the boy. Hmm? Look at the dedication. He was very very pleased and then he said he was actually Narada was actually testing Dhruva Maharaj he said that okay come with me I will order Uttanapad to make you the king and he cannot he cannot refuse me he cannot refuse he can refuse everyone but he cannot refuse me I will tell him to put you on throne Dhruva Maharaj said Naraj I am not interested <coughs> Then he said to Naraji that if you can kindly help me on how to attain the Supreme Lord's lotus feet, Lord Narayana, then it's okay. Otherwise, I already have the blessings of my mother and I can carry on with that. Please don't test me anymore and please don't change my mind. And then Naraji, seeing, his, seeing this boy, he said, mm, okay, okay Dhruva, you have passed the test. So the spiritual master is allowed to test the disciple. If a disciple is sincere, then to test his sincerity, spiritual master might test him. And then Narada said to him, This is the mantra. Now go from here straight to Vrindavan. There is a place called as Madhuvan in Brajmandal. There on the banks of river Yamuna, take bath three times a day. Chant this mantra day in and day out and eat only simple things hmm? As depend on what is naturally available there <clears throat> and in six months from now by my blessings you will see the supreme personality of God at Narayana standing in front of you hmm? that little Dhruva he thanked Naraji he circumambulated Naraji three times hmm? and then he left for Brajmandal so Narada <coughs> was a uh, associate of the Lord so and by his blessings certainly Dhruva could attain that position so Dhruva went to Brajmandal he went to Madhuvan and in Madhuvan <coughs> he performed for six months he performed intense tapasya he chanted the mantra given by Nar Naradji and month by month he reduced his eating and gradually he came to a level where he was completely depending breathing hmm? on the sixth month hmm, supreme lord narayana he appeared in front of naradji uh, in front of dhruva maharaj <coughs> in the sixth month dhruva was able to see the form of the lord within his heart and his my he, his mind was fixed up to in the lotus feet of the lord so even though when Lord personally appeared in front of him, he was not opening his eyes, but he's, he was completely meditating on the form in which he was seeing in the heart. That, that picture you see there, Prabhuji, can you just, that picture you see there, that is the form of the Lord in the heart. So Dhruva was meditating on that form. In every living entity, the Supreme Lord, he resides as Paramatma in, the, in, in that form, in the heart of every living entity. Hmm? And we can easily have darshan of that form, hmm? provided we can sincerely take the shelter of, of Lord Hari. Hmm? <coughs> so when Narayana was, when Lord Narayana was standing in front of Dhruva Maharaj, he saw how Dhruva was 
sincerely he was meditating on his form and the lord was thinking what should i do to get his attention hmm? then he he disappeared from his heart and as soon as the form of the lord in his heart disappeared there dhruva dhruva immediately wo opened his eyes and then he saw the supreme lord narayana hmm? and then he offered his offered his prostrate obeisances at his feet and he was speechless completely speechless hmm? imagine the supreme lord is standing in front of us and we are seeing and he was a 6 5 or 6 year old boy was completely speechless hmm? he had no clue what what should i do what should i say i mean he was he was bewildered hmm? lord understood his bewilderment hmm? actually dhruva wanted to glorify the lord he wanted to glorify but he didn't go to school he was 5 years old hmm? he didn't go to school he didn't know any verses hmm? so lord touched lord has carrying counsel so lord touched counsel to, towards his cheek hmm? and as soon as he did that all the transcendental knowledge which is which is the essence of all the vedas everything got revealed to dhruva hmm? and then he st- started speaking dhruva started glorifying the lord with various 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 verses hmm? and <clears throat> then lord was very pleased and he, in one of the prayers he said that i am very very sorry my dear lord that i was aspiring for some mundane things i wanted a kingdom which is greater than brahma huh? but that is such a mundane thing it is like a pieces of glass but what i am seeing what i am getting in front of you i am drinking the nectar of see, nectar of your darshan hmm? it is like uh, the diamond hmm? it is like the pieces of diamond and what i was aspiring for pieces of glass so my dear lord although i might have performed devotional service for for a mundane thing but i please i do not want that hmm? then the lord said no dhruva that is not possible hmm? i have to give it to you because in future if the devotees perform devotional service to me with some desires in their heart then they should not think that i will never fulfill their desires hmm? so otherwise they will think that the supreme lord has brain brainwashes the devotee's mind so i will i will give you what you want hmm? you prayed for a position which is higher than brahma hmm? so there is just to let you know there is no planet which is higher than brahma's planet there is only one planet which is higher than brahma's that is my planet hmm? so there is a place called as shweta deep hmm? so i will i will name that planet shweta deep as dhruva loka hmm? you will you will reside there but before you could attend that planet for my days for my for my sake hmm? for my pleasure please rule this whole world by becoming a king hmm? your father will soon depart for the forest and then gradually will become the king and you will rule this whole world for so many years <coughs> and then at the end of your life you will attain me when you give up your body my associates my associates will come and take you so this is the life of dhruva maharaj hmm? how he how a little boy he could attain the supreme lord so attaining the supreme lord is very simple it is not complicated if you see that when person wants to engage in so many activities of sense gratification he has to do so much endeavors for example if somebody wants to drink wine then he has to have money with him hmm? then he has to go to hmm, wine shop then he has to buy it and if somebody wants to get involved in illicit activities then also for give for paying it to prostitutes also he he will need money hmm? if he, if he wants to buy uh, buy some meat and other stuff then also he will need lot of money so in this way and then also uh, our acharya say that attaining the sup- at becoming krishna conscious is very easy hmm. because we should doesn't require any money hmm. we can just simply come to the temple hmm. have the darshan of the lord have prasadam chant the holy name of the lord read the literature so many literatures we have read the literature and try to understand god try to understand the supreme lord 
with the help of the devotees who are practicing Krishna consciousness, who are already trying to understand who are in this position as devotees, you should try to understand from them about Krishna consciousness. So this is a very easy process hmm, of attaining the Supreme Lord. Like that, there are so many incidences in Srimad Bhagavatam wherein, uh, wherein people, have, people have attained the Supreme Lord, people have perfected their existence by performing devotional service. Dhru Maharaj is just one incident. Hmm. <clears throat> if we see that uh, in the past times of life of Maharaj Parikshit, it has been said that there are four places where you will always find quarrel and hypocrisy. Five places. The places where intoxication is there, the places where illicit activities are there, the, press, the places where gambling is there, and the places where gold. Yes, gold is there. So this gold means gold also where the money has been earned by uh, improper means. <clears throat> so all these five places you will find there is quarrel and hypocrisy everywhere if you see there is somewhere quarrel there is some frustration hypocrisy is there then you should understand that that is the effect of Kali Yuga hmm? that means hmm, the age <coughs> that has been that person has been dis, uh, is in this he is uh, either going one of the activities or all of them so if you want to be God conscious be simple, be <coughs> uh, lead a life which is very peaceful, very happy, uh, then one should try to become a devotee of the Lord. And devotees of the Lord, they are not involved in any of these activities. Hmm? Even though they have money, even though they have some gold or opulence, they will try to see that it, ha it has been used for Lord's service. Whatever they can uh, use for their family maintenance, they will do that and else the remaining amount they will use for the devotees. So this is how, uh, we, this is our lessons we should take from the life of Dhruva Maharaj that <coughs> we should try our best to understand the Supreme Lord hmm? <coughs> by the process of devotional service like Dhruva Maharaj did. Any questions? Hmm? Principles and it says to stay away from intoxicants. Hmm? Um, it says to stay away from intoxicants in the regulative principles. Yes. Um, but would would something like coffee count as like a stimulant, hmm. like intoxicant, hmm. like quite mild? Hmm. Would you still have to eliminate that from yes. principles? It's a question. What is yeah, yeah. Like, what is the question? I didn't get. Um, so if you look at something like in the, the regulative principles. Yes. Um, it says to stay away from intoxicants. Yes. And um, would coffee be considered uh, an intoxicant? Yes. Why, why would you have to stay away from something like coffee if it's say mild? It's an addiction. An addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a severe addiction, and it uh, it's 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 a kind of intoxication also. Mm. Mm. There are some herbal coffees available. At least we have in India. We have we have herbal tea, herbal coffee. So you can take that if you want. Mm. But those uh, those coffees which are generally available, they are they have some intoxicant hmm, caffeine. Hmm. So the idea is to get rid of all addictions. Yes, all yeah. 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 Hmm. Okay. So that helps you. That helps your mind to be peaceful. Hmm. Hmm. Only peaceful mind can underst understand God. Only peaceful mind you can with only, with peaceful mind you can perform devotional service. Hmm. So if you are addicted to some things, then it is very difficult to. Uh, to, con to focus on Krishna consciousness. Hmm? That's why founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada he made this re request to all of us to avoid these four things no meditating, no gambling, no illicit sex, no intoxication and then also requested no tea, no coffee. Hmm? So stay away from all this and see how life is very peaceful. Hmm? Hmm? Just practice Krishna consciousness, eat Krishna prasad. Hmm? Yes, we have a question? You can get good decaf coffee now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can drink that, can't you? Yeah. You can drink decaf, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's kind of cheating. <laughs> Not really, it's no caffeine in it. I think, I think it still has a stimulating effect, though. It's quite, it can be addictive. You should ask the devotees who, yeah. who, who use that, because... Just I, I, set up your hand. Okay. Any other questions? 
Huh? Medication. Uh huh. You know, like prescribed by the doctor. Uh huh. Is that intoxicating? No, depends you, which doctor you are approaching and for what purpose. Hmm? Some people, like a friend of mine, is that. Is Look, that there are doctors who prescribe drugs also. So, okay. so, so we have to be very careful and intelligent enough to understand. Hmm? So, select a pro appropriate doctor who can diagnose you properly and give you appropriate medicines. Hmm? Yes, Prabhuji. Um, you were saying that um, um, Krishna didn't, um, although he had the uh, obviously the power to give Arjuna victory immediately, he uh, wanted him to fight. So I was Prabhupada thinking, said that, yeah, in the purport, yeah. I was just thinking, well, why? Why, why is that? Uh, because um, there are, he, he's a, uh, Arjuna is a pure devotee. Yeah. And he, he approaches his friend, mm -hmm. saying, please help me. Mm -hmm. And his friend says, um, you have to do the fighting. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't understand that I logic, do you know what I mean? Try to understand that. <coughs> <laughs> Just like you have, you have a child, okay? So your, your child approaches you, says, um, says, I need some help. I will give you an example. <laughs> if a child approaches me and says, Baba, my, my dear father, please do my homework. <laughs> So what will I do? I will do her homework? No. I will ask that I will guide you. Okay, you but you should do your own homework. Hmm? Even the father can easily do all the homework like this. Hmm? But does but we do do we do that? No. Hmm? Similarly, Krishna could do everything, hmm? but he wants devotees to perform devotional service. Following Krishna's instruction is devotional service. What is religion? Whatever Krishna said to, to whatever Krishna said Arjuna to do is religion, and whatever Krishna said not to do is religion. So when Krishna is saying Arjuna fight, hmm, by this I'll be pleased. So he fought. Hmm. So when spiritual master tells something to us that do this, follow for regular principles, so we follow hmm, for his pleasure. Hmm. When we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we are chanting for the pleasure of our spiritual master and Krishna. Hmm. Yes, Krishna was helping him. Hmm? With, with, he said, you have to fight your, because I am not going to lift weapon, so you have to fight. Yes, I am there to guide you and nobody will defeat you. I'll take, I, I guarantee you, nobody will be able to defeat you. Not even Bhishma Pitama, Dronacharya, no one. So Krishna assured him, as similarly devo as devotees, we perform, uh, we do perform devotional service, we do perform our household activities. But Krishna assures us that if you, if you are if you're conscious of me, then I assure you that even though you are entangled in this material world, but I assure you that because you are performing my devotional service, you will come to me. Hmm. Any other question? Yes. Other question. One I'd like to ask is, if you do, when you are doing devotion, if you haven't got a spiritual master, does that devotional service still count? Yes. Ah. It counts because you, but you have to the 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 first step in Krishna consciousness is to adav shraddha tatha sadhu sang. Adav shraddha first is to have faith in the process of Krishna consciousness. To faith to have the faith in what the, uh, we are we are practicing. We are hmm, to have faith in that. And the second step is uh, to accept a spiritual master and then perform Krishna consciousness under the guidance of that spiritual master. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. And then gradually, gradually by, he, by performing devotional service, what happens? The heart which is contaminated by modes of material nature, our heart becomes clean of the dirt. Of the dirt. Hmm? Hmm. Why are we not able to see the God or realize God even though He is there in our heart? Because the dirt is there. Hmm. So once the dirt is cleansed, how is dirt cleansed by performing devotional service? Under the guidance of a spiritual master hmm? and then what will happen then we, then we can we will we'll develop some uh, natural attachment towards Krishna hmm? any other questions Hello.
that at an early stage are not in our nature, but we're attracted to certain things about Krishna consciousness mm -hmm. and that things will naturally unfold. You know, I mean, often, well, you know, the, the, the real main purpose of the mission of Lord Chaitanya was to go out and sing on the street. Yes. So it's a bit beyond, um, not so much sort of putting us in a straitjacket, it's allowing us just to be, just chant the holy names of Krishna out on the street, and that things will naturally unfold in the individual, in their own unique What way. things which unfold? Well, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes I think that people might find it unattractive when they come into Krishna consciousness. Unattractive. They've got to give up so many things, uh -huh. and then they become like false renunciants. And yeah. they become very happy as a result. Mm -hmm. Actually, the power of the actually the holy name is so powerful. The Lord's holy name is you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare. It's so powerful that if we simply take, if we simply continue doing that on everyday basis, then gradually, gradually, our uh, we will become we will become distasteful with this uh, other things. Which are, which are actually not required in our life, but we will become distasteful to it because we will get some higher taste. So, higher taste will also be attained if we hear like this pastimes of Dhru Maharaj. So, when we understand why, why are we practicing Krishna causes nicely, when we understand it from the devotees, then that will help us to bring firm conviction in, in what we are doing. So, then gradually, gradually you can you can decide by yours. Then gradually on its own it will go away. Hmm. There are many people when they join initially Krishna consciousness they are addicted to so many things. But then when they see other devotees they ha they have they are practi they are also uh, practicing nicely. And we see they are peaceful, they are happy. Hmm. And then we say, yeah, hmm. this is the happy life. Hmm. If we suppose if we go to the parties, then people they dance and drink and everybody. Hmm. So then. We think that, uh, and we see there are fights and everything there. So we under we can use our intelligence that look at these people who are practicing Krishna consciousness. They are also eating nice for prasadam. They are also eating nice food, and they are also dancing and happy. They are very happy and jubilant always. And look at these people who are always intoxicated in drugs and that they don't even have a sense of what they are wearing or not they are wearing. So a person can use his intelligence. I don't see the drunks that we look down on often joining with the Harinams. That's good, that's a Sukruti. That's, they, are, they are developing Bhakti Sukruti. Yeah. Hmm. That's good, that's good for them. Gradually, gradually, they will develop such Sukruti that they will, hmm, they will develop a, uh, like to hear about what, they, what we are doing. Like Srila Prabhupada, hmm, when he went to Western countries, he, when this person, he went to the Western world, he was 70 years old when he went there. Hmm. And what method did he adopt to attract the people? He simply went hmm, and he chanted the Hare Krishna Mahamantra hmm, on the, on, in a park. Hmm. And gradually, gradually so many, so many youngsters they got attracted to this holy name. And then what did he do? Then he fed them Krishna Prasad. Hmm. Then, they, then he gave them food which was free from karma, which was very tasty food. He, he used to cook himself. For, for hundreds of people, he used to cook himself and then he used to feed them. And then gradually, gradually they were addicted to two things, the holy name and then to prasad. And then he said, okay, now it's time to hear about Lord Krishna. And then he spoke. Hmm? And all, all these people, they were already having a relationship with that, with Srila Prabhupada. Hmm? All these devotees, they used to meet every day. If hmm? so, so, so then gradually, gradually what happened? They became convinced of the message of God. And they became devotees. And then everything is history. We know. It, the movement spread everywhere. Hmm? So it begins gradually, gradually. Hmm? But coming to the Kirtan is a good thing. Hmm? Even though they are drunkards, but still, do you have them? Hmm? Any other question? Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.